Local economic development officials say Central Ohio has become a hub for the online economy, calling it the North Pole of e-commerce. And our Glenn McIntyre joins us now at 530 to look at what that means. Well, Jerry, in a word, jobs. Today we got a tour of a company that within a year of opening here plans to double its workforce. And companies like it are making e-commerce a growing force in the Central Ohio economy. Inside this 75,000 square foot Grove Port warehouse is the distribution center for a company Forbes magazine calls the Netflix of plus sized fashion. Gwinnie Bee is a subscription based clothing rental service. You go online, you pick the styles and sizes that you want to rent. We'll send it out to you. It goes out, uh, usually it takes one to two days, and you wear it whenever you want. You keep it as long as you want. Then when you're ready to return, you just put it back in a blue bag, and we have the clothes washed pressed and then put back into circulation for other customers to rent it. Vice President of Operations Robert Escobar calls it clothing without commitment. You get a lot to have a lot of fun, get to wear a lot of different things that you probably wouldn't do if you have to invest in it and um, people just love it. Escobar says employees here typically process more than 3,000 garments a day, a number that climbs every month. We started off with about 100 employees back in July. We have about 155 employees today, and we expect to have about 200 employees the end of next quarter. One of those employees is lead inspector Courtney James, who makes sure these used clothes look like new. They're in excellent condition, no different than what you would see in any retail store. Gwinnie B is based in New York City, but chose Columbus as its hub of operations. Columbus is uh, ideal for the type of business that we're in. He says our geographic accessibility is one factor, our workforce is another. I'm not surprised at all. As I looked at other states and other regions in the country in terms of setting up a distribution hub, I really think that Columbus uh, has really done a great job in building the right infrastructure and the right resources for a company like ours to really grow and be successful here. Columbus 2020, the Economic Development Organization, says Gwinnie B is one of many e-commerce companies flocking to Central Ohio. A lot of it's about customer service, so time of delivery is critically important, and having the infrastructure in place. Um, so having companies like FedEx and UPS having large ground hubs in the market have definitely been an attractant to many of those companies. Providing jobs and opportunities for eager employees like Courtney. And to learn it from a ground level, it can actually grow with a company. Is that your hope? Or your that plan? is my hope and that is my goal. And Columbus 2020 has a closer look at Central Ohio's e-commerce industry. You'll find it under this story on 10TV.com. Live in the newsroom, Glenn McIntyre, 10TV News.